bang and I air it out. We slime and I bang it up. We bang and I win up. It's red and we pour it up. My diamonds, they glowing up. She wet and she wanna fuck. Be patient, I'm counting up. Alright, what is up, guys? I review stuff back here once again. And today we're gonna be taking a quick little look at these Sakai. I think they're called LD Waffles um, from Yes Kicks. Not too sure what colorway this would be called, but yeah, that's the colorway of them. Um, these are from a package I got in March and they just arrived now. So it's part of two different packages. One had one shoe, the other, which would be this one had two, um, a pair of Jordan 11s and these. Not too sure what the delay was going on then. Maybe, a, a, um, you know, like a shipment got lost or, uh, and then they found them again. I don't know, but either way, I got the shoes now. Um, and I did place an order with them my last two videos that I had dropped um, as of the recording of this one Those ones were placed like a week and a half ago Or two weeks ago and they already got here. So yeah, their shipping times are back to normal now And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you're new to your channel Show some love subscribe drop a like turn on notifications and follow your boy on Instagram at RV stuff TV Without further ado, let's get into it man um, Starting off packaging really well done usually by yes kicks you'll get bubble wrapped on each individual shoe box and you'll get a box over both boxes um or if you pair order one shoe same deal goes so yeah um here's all the information for the website and then if you use the code rv stuff you can save yourself 15 dollars on your first purchase on a new account on the spot on the website so keep that in mind um if you guys hear you know whining in the background my dog just did have her first litter of puppies so that's what that is um she's a shih tzu so yeah this is the box you get so it says nike on the top and that gloss you got n on this one with the swoosh and then ike on this side with the rest of the swoosh i don't think anything on here nope size tag nike vapor waffle that's what it's called Sakai. This is a colorway string, black, and villain red. These are size six and a half men's or eight women's. So, yeah. Um, inside the box, you get the Sakai paper, the authentication sticker, and then a black pair of laces. So, yeah. That's pretty much it for the box. Probably some branding on the bottom, too. Yeah, but who cares? Um, here are the shoes themselves. Um, I don't really know what to say about these. I'm personally not a fan, but they're not for me, so yeah. Again, quality seems good on these. Uh, I don't really see any obvious flaws. There's tons of materials being used, like mesh um, here, and then obviously leather. Um, and suede. So, tons of different materials and paints. Leather on the back, suede, Nike Sakai there. Didn't really notice that when I was looking at them. That's pretty dope. There's a good look at everything. So yeah, pretty unique looking shoe, obviously. You guys, two sets of laces in here. One is green and then the other one is black, both on the shoe, out of the box. You got two tongues, one says Nike Sakai, one says Nike Sportswear, I believe. Yep. Both separate tongues as well, but they are together. Nike Sakai um, on the insole. And you got some paper down there, nothing else going on. Um, the size tag is on the inside the insole. So there's that, if y'all can see that. So yeah, it's kind of like a translucent material. So that's pretty much it for that. Let me get this uh, sign in there, or the label back in there, because that was annoying. These insoles are kind of annoying, I find, just because the shoe kind of feels a little tight um, seeming, so. Yeah, man, tons of materials though. Little to no glue marks. I mean, you can see, obviously on the suede, it's a lot more noticeable, so definitely easier to see. But yeah, that's the right shoe, left shoe, right here, same thing going on. It's 
pretty dope high shoe though. It gives you a lot of height for sure because of how big the sole is. But it's just, it's it's so ugly, it's kind of attractive to some people, I guess. So, kind of like the Balenciaga Triple S's. Pretty dope though. The colorway is kind of, the colorway on this uh, individual pair actually reminds me kind of like of some old school vintage colorway, for sure. But yeah, same thing going on. No differences, quality is the same through both shoes. Stitching looks to be on par. No obvious blue marks. So overall, this is a good pair of shoes, for sure. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. Not gonna take up too much of your time. I've been super busy lately as well, since the birth of these puppies. I've even had to take time off work, so. Probably got a total of, what, 15 hours of sleep maybe? tops since Sunday and today the date of the recording is Thursday so says enough right there <laughs> um, but it's worth it I love them I'm not really doing it for the money I'm doing it more for the experience and it has been a good one although very very tiring so far so yeah that's pretty much it though guys enjoy the rest of your day if you're new to your channel share your voice and love and with that being said I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one stay tuned for more heat peace